Hey everyone, Roblox Dev here, back with another video. But today we are going to explore referencing and um, dive into scripts. So let's get right into it. First, let's start with um, see all these properties here. So if I were to place a part, select it, we get all the part properties. And all of these properties, they can be changed with scripts individually. I can change the reflectance, the transparency, all of this with scripts, the brick color, anything. I can make the part anchored. Anything can be changed with a script. So these grayed out ones, don't worry about them for now. Some of them you can change mid game, but uh, we don't need to worry about these. Um, things like the name, orientation, uh, parent is basically just like where the part is. Like if I were to click base plate, I put the part in there. If I wanted to put it back to workspace, I'd click here, workspace, right? That's how that works. So um, all of these can be changed with uh, a script. So uh, to explain, let's insert a script to our workspace, open it up, get rid of print hello world, and get started. So um, if we look back to variables that we explored in episode two, we type local and then our variable name. So I'm gonna name it part. And uh, this is gonna equal, uh, we, want, we wanna tell the game where the part is right so we want to edit this part and i'm not calling it part because that you know this could be called banana so we're just trying to tell the game where this part is so what we do is we type game because game is everything right it's just like the parent of workspace which you can't see so we type game dot workspace so now we went from the game to the workspace and then we go from the workspace and you can select one of its children as we explored in the first video, we select one of the children. So, for example, part. And I'll say this part can be named like I don't know, like clock, right? So then it'd be game dot workspace dot uh, clock. And basically, what this is gonna do is it's saying that um, if we ever say banana, we're talking about this clock right here. So, for example, if I were to insert like say just something random like a surface GUI into the clock. Uh, I would type, and if I wanted banana to be equal to the surface GUI, I would do clock dot surface GUI. And this is kind of just saying, okay, we need to go from the game. All right, next we're going to go to the workspace. Then we're going to go to the clock and then the, the surface GUI. You're kind of starting from the outside, coming in one, in, and then in again. So in our case, we want to edit the part, which I've named clock. And um, the variable has been called banana. So say I wanted to change the color of this uh, part, which we've named banana, oh, we've named it clock, right? So say I wanted to change the color of it, I would go here, I take my variable called banana, um, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type banana dot, and now we can select a property um, inside the clock. So since clock is a part, we have appearance properties and like behavior and things like that. So um, first, let's get off with the most basic property, the brick color. So uh, the brick color of a part, any of these right here. Let's actually get a better list. So banana dot brick color. Wait, it needs to be typed exactly. There you go, banana dot brick color. And what you do is you do it equals brick color dot new, and then you have everything here to select from which would be in uh, a string value. So um, what we do here, I think there's a bunch of ways to change it, don't worry about them. So uh, banana dot brick color equals a new brick color, right? I hope that makes sense. So the brick color of the banana will equal a new brick color and you can change it to anything you want. Let's just go with like baby blue. So now if I were to run this game, it would be changed to baby blue immediately. And uh, if you remember this wait function here, so say I type in like three, and I hit run, it's gonna wait three seconds, and then change it. I don't know if you can see that the best, so I'm gonna change it to something like bright red. So now I'd wait one, two, three. There you go. Change it to bright red, and that's just how you change properties. So. Say we wanted to change uh, the material, 
So we would go back to the banana, which we uh, the banana is equal to the clock, right? And the, and this is the clock right here because we've named it clock. So uh, we go banana dot material equals enum dot material dot whichever one you want. And I'll explain in a second what this does. So let's just say water, right? So uh, banana dot material. So we're saying, let's just select it real quick. Banana, the material of the banana equals an uh, like an E number. So this is basically just a quick way of typing, you know, what we want. So what happened is like enum dot material. Say I wanted to do like enum dot device type. It wouldn't go here, but as you can see, all these options come up. It's just a quick way to like get all of these options, if you know what I mean. So here it would just be enum dot material dot whatever you want. So we're asking you water. Obviously, this wait three seconds is still there. So it's just gonna wait three and change it to what we asked it to. And uh, water is not actually that easy to get. So just for video purposes, let's go with grass. So it's just gonna wait one, two, three. Yo, it's grass. So don't worry about water. It's it's uh, different to get. I'll explain that in a later video. So say I wanted to change it like something else, like foil, right? Go with foil. And we included the weight three, so it's just gonna weight three and change it to foil, just like it should. And you can do multiple things, like if I wanted to change it to foil, and I also wanted to change the uh, brick color to like. So remember, we use brick color dot new because like we're saying the brick color should be a new brick color, and the new one is gonna be like, let's say brick yellow, right? So it's gonna become like a yellow foil after three seconds of waiting. There you go, just like we asked it to. So uh, just like this, you can change any property. And as you saw, there's a parent property, right? Which kind of just says uh, where the part is. So say we were to go banana, this might be a bit advanced, but banana.parent equals game.workspace. Basically, if we just put the clock, like say like, inside the base plate then we obviously have to tell it that's going to be workspace dot base plate dot clock now because we changed it and what the script is going to do is after three seconds it's going to move it back to the workspace right because we can change the parent so if we just open it after three seconds see it got moved back to the workspace so that's pretty cool and if you didn't see that that well we can do uh game now workspace dot camera right right there so after three seconds, it's going to move the part from inside the base plate to inside the camera, right? Because parent is just another property that we can change with a script. One more thing I could show you is banana dot brick color. Ah, uh, can I type brick color? Can I not type brick color equals brick color dot random. So instead of dot new, you can do brick color dot random. And this should just select a completely random brick color, right? I should ignore what I'm doing here, right? I'm basically just making a loop, so it's going to continue to do this. Just ignore this. It's just for entertainment. And what it's going to do is, yep, it's just going it, to, it's inside, inside a loop, and it's just going to choose a new random brick color. So anyway, I do hope you found this video helpful, and, um... Have fun on your journey to becoming an advanced Roblox scripter.